What is up guys welcome back to another Instagram tutorial my name is Steven Womack and today I want to talk about that Polaroid picture that I posted a lot of you guys asked me about it I got a lot of DMs from you guys asked me how to recreate it um, to be honest I took this picture with a real Polaroid camera and some um, Polaroid film but today I'm going to show you how to recreate that look using your smartphone and that free Lightroom app only I've also created a preset on exactly this look it's on my website the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack once again along with over 90 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures in that free Lightroom app to make them look great there's a lot of Drake presets Travis Scott presets a Gunner Stahl preset Race Corrupted Mind preset, UFO361 presets, and many, many more. So make sure to check out that pack because every time I upload a new preset, it's automatically updated into that pack. So that pack keeps growing and growing. You only have to get it once. It's a pretty good deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. And if you haven't already, also, of course, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. Because if there's anything that you want me to take a look at for you next, you can always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. And if I like your idea and I get a lot of those requests, I would love to make a video about it and show you how to recreate that effect that you requested. So feel free to do that. And I've said enough now, let's jump right into this tutorial. Before we start, I have to say once again, when you take the picture, make sure that the flash is on, no matter if it's at night or at daytime, just make sure the flash is on because that adds that um, extra realness, that extra Polaroid effect to it. So the first thing you want to do is open your picture in that free Lightroom app. Now I've chosen this picture of myself. Now this is not taken with flash. It would even look better if it was taken with flash, but I will show you this um, just to demonstrate the look. Now the first thing you want to do in the lights tab is go to curve on the upper right, right here. And then I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. This way you will kind of blow those shadows out and create that vintage effect. So pull up the bottom left spot all the way till it almost hits that first square and then just create a small curve towards the middle of the line and then a small curve in the other direction towards the upper right side of that whole square. Now once you copy this curve exactly as it is right here, we are done. And now we just want to boost the contrast to plus two in this case and the highlights, we're gonna boost them all the way to plus 18. The shadows as well, we want to boost that up to plus 18. The whites, we want to pull down all the way to negative 40. Two, and the blacks as well, we want to pull down all the way to negative 48 right there. Then we're done with the light, we go over to the colors right here, and now we just wanna pull down the saturation a little bit to negative 30 in this case is perfect and then we scroll up and hit the color mix now what we want to do is bring back those skin tones a little bit so we uh, select this orange circle right here and just boost uh, the saturation of it all the way to plus 37 and the luminance as well up to plus 19 now we got the skin tones back in now what we want to do to create that vintage effect as well that film effect that polaroid film effect is change the hue of the skin tones a little bit towards the yellow area to around plus 24 is perfect um, then we are done here then we go over to the effects right there and we just want to pull down the clarity a little bit to negative 19 and we want to dehaze to plus six and then we want to add some grain just to make it look even more filmy um, we want to add grain up to 23 right there and now the last thing we want to do is get that color tone right so we scroll up hit split toning and what you want to do for the highlights is pull over to a hue of around 64 65 and a low saturation of around five is perfect so it's 69 and five that yellow area for the highlights and now for the shadows we want to pull over to a blue area to a hue of around 215 and a saturation of in this case 26 is perfect so it's 212 and 26 
and that looks good to me and that's it guys we are done here's a little before and after and i think we came super close to that real polaroid look now what you can do as well is add a polaroid frame i've also created a video i link it under this video in the description as well and um, once again i've also created a preset on exactly this polaroid look it's on my website the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack and also the frames that you maybe want to add to the picture to make it look more realistic are also in that all presets pack so with that pack you just get everything that i've ever made and it's a pretty good deal because i keep adding presets to the pack so no matter when you buy it you will always get new presets you will always be updated once i release anything new so make sure to check it out link is under this video and of course if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials and we can keep this community growing it's growing a lot thank you so so much if there's anything you need from me any questions that you have feel free to dm me on instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm always open for conversation, and um, I'm really happy to talk to you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next tutorial. Stay safe, stay creative. Peace.